Welcome back, CW friends and family. Shalita Wilson here of CW Hair Care. Welcome you back to our Saturday upload. One thing to remember, please subscribe and leave us a comment. Today, we are going to be talking about protective hairstyles. Now, protective styling is, you guessed it, one of the best ways to protect your hair. Protective Styles keeps the ends of your hair tucked away in order to discourage pulling, tugging, breakage, and over manipulation, period. Protective Styles are also meant to encourage hair growth. So if you're keeping your hair in a protective style and you're no longer flat ironing it, flat ironing it, blow drying it, um, pressing it out, permanent, and doing all of these things and it's just resting and being protected tucked away somewhere that helps to encourage growth prevent breakage and shedding so it is truly being protected over a period of time now with protective styles you can maintain moisture balance you can prevent breakage and as mentioned this is all about encouraging growth it's also about encouraging time savings, if you know what I mean, if you're a busy individual like myself. Now, protective styles are beneficial for all weather types, especially in the winter time. You know, if it, your hair is not out there getting blown around in the very cold, cold air, and it's nice and tucked away in a protective style, that helps to keep the hair safe. Also, if you're a very active person, more so active, you know, if you wake up in the morning and you, you get to work and then you come home late at night. Protective styles help you to maintain time. If you're an active person, as far as being very active physically, you work out a lot, you jog a lot, you're an active swimmer, simply rinsing the hair out, maybe once a day, a couple of times a week, and letting it air dry and going about your business. Protective styles help you in that area as well. You can simply rinse your hair, rub a little conditioner at the roots, let it sit there for a second, rinse that out, then go on about your day. It helps you out, extreme time savings and hair growth without having to take hours and massive amounts of time to dry and style. A protective style is usually only high maintenance when you're first getting it done. When you're going to the shop, to have somebody braid your hair, lock your hair up, or do the twist, or you have to do it yourself. But after that, low maintenance, and you're giving your hair some much needed rest and restoration. As discussed, protective styles prevent breakage. They are meant to prevent breakage and to promote hair growth, which increases your chance of seeing length retention. If your hair is breaking as fast as it grows, then what's the point? You'll just notice that your hair is staying pretty much the same length because it grows, breaks, grows, breaks, grows, breaks. So let's put it in a protective style and see how that changes things. Now, while your hair is in a protective style, using our spray, our cytophylactic scalp spray, and our silk growth oil amplifies hair growth phenomenally. If you wanna see a miracle, put your hair in a protective style, use the growth set, and then get back to us. I guarantee you will see a miracle. Using a water-based product, sorry, but it is true, like our cytophylactic scalp spray, when your hair is in a protective style, allows it to seep into the hair follicle and the hair shaft without caking. So when you have a protective style, using a water-based product for its nourishment and something that is not uh, solid, so to speak, less solid, when you're applying it to your hair will prevent caking and noticing flakes and whatnot within your hairstyle. And also using our oil, which is also a liquid, allows the oil to effortlessly seep in without noticeable buildup. Just make sure that whatever you use to nourish your hair isn't anything that's going to sit on top of your hair and be white or show. It needs to quickly seep in and just do its job. Now, what are some of those awesome, beautiful, protective hairstyles that I've been talking about thus far? Well, back in the day, way back in the day, because we've been rocking natural hairstyles since the beginning of creation, but mm, back in the day, we used to rock cornrows like this, 
and braids like that just to protect our hair then we go on to styling it permanent pressing it curling it and all those other wonderful things but now there are so many beautiful protective styles out there i had to cut a whole lot of the pictures short because i was like oh this is beautiful oh my god that's gorgeous oh let me show this we'd be here for three hours all the beautiful um hairstyles that i found out there but for example, let's just take a look at some of these new fangled, new style cornrows and braids that we're wearing now. We have taken that beauty protective style to the stratosphere of gorgeous. Let's check them out. Now let's look at these braided styles here. Now this one is so gorgeous. I just love this one. And this one, mm my lord i think i'm gonna have to switch out my style and try this one out let's not forget about the guys they are wearing their natural hairstyles and protective styles as well and i just love it it shows your personal style and it just gives the world an impression of who you are and who you want to present yourself to be is so many different styles out there that represents you and your identity now let's check out some of these box braids now box braids are gorgeous these days i've heard that when you go to the beauty shop these days that if you're asking for box braids that the going rate is a thousand dollars to get your hair in box braids I don't know, but I think my skills are good enough to uh, beat out $1,000 if I just sit in my bathroom, you know, a little while longer and practice. But hey, you know, some of these styles are so amazing. Check out this one. Beautiful protective style. Oh my gosh. Look at lovely lady right here. Oh my goodness. Is this beautiful or what? How about this one? How many of you guys can rock this one? Now, like I mentioned before, if you're a professional, can you wear this one to work? How about these styles right here? These are all beautiful styles for the office, but then let's look at these. This is perfect for the beach. This is perfect if you're in the entertainment industry. And how about this beautiful cut here? I love it, I love it. Also, crochet hair is popular as well. Now what that is, is like a strip of protective styles. You braid your hair, you just kind of sew the strips onto the braids that you have there. Not so much as a sewing weave, we'll get to that. These are called crochet hair, it's called crochet hair. And here's a style right here. As you can see, if you just look at it, it looks like she just has a head full of lovely hair. But if you look down towards the root, you can see that it also is a braid and that the hair is attached to that braid. Here's another crochet style. And another one. Lovely, I love them. Also, wigs. Wigs are a perfect way to protect your hair underneath and especially if you are in a cold area wigs can also provide for some much needed heat like i'm from minnesota originally you need all the heat you can get up there so a wig might help out if you're in those type of areas look at this wig here so underneath these wigs you can have braids cornrows plaits whatever it is that you wanna have underneath this wig, you can have it to help grow your hair out and then put a wig over the top to walk around and be stylish like this. Yes, honey, this beautiful thing is a wig. Flawless, if you ask me. Here's another one. And yet another cute little thingy. Okay, as mentioned with the sew-in weave, you normally would have cornrows underneath and you sew the weave on top of it. What's wonderful about that is that you can get right down in between the weave to your cornrows and add the nutrients that your hair needs. With the spout that we have on our silk growth oil, you can get right down in between what you got going on underneath that wig and underneath that sewing weave. 
One of my favorites is the two strand twist. It is so easy to do, especially after shampooing and conditioning, just, you know, part the hair, two strands and twist it up. Here's Dominique showing a nice, beautiful style of the two stranded twist. And it's so easy to do, so protective. And then when you use the right product, so super moisturized and it's so beautiful when you just throw it up in a little bun and just go about your day. Here's an, another example of the beautiful two-stranded twist. They are very, very, very gentle on the hair. A lot of people do the two-stranded twist after shampooing and conditioning, you know, during the weekends and just run around the house with their two-stranded twist just so that their hair can dry effortlessly without a blow dryer. And it's a protective style. It gives their hair a lot of rest. Now, my absolute favorite faux locks. As you can see, it's my go-to and I love it. Here are some examples of faux locks. Now, faux locks are super simple to put in. Um, all of these hairdos that I'm talking about, there are tons of YouTube videos out there. You can look up the one that you like personally and learn how to do it or, you know, go ahead and kick out them thousand dollars and go to the beauty salon. You know, you might find a really good deal, but the going rate that I heard was a thousand dollars. So I don't know. Faux locks are extremely light. They do not pull on your hair at all. They're very versatile, as you can see in this picture. This picture here. And this picture here. They are very versatile, really good looking. You can wear them pretty much anywhere. You can put them up, put them down. Just about do any type of hairstyle with all of these protective styles um, that you like, that fits your personality. The bottom line to a protective style is what it's meant to do. Protect the hair over a period of time. Now, let's talk about when to take the protective style out. So, I know many of you have seen people walking around and you're like, now she knows she needs to take that out and come on now. Yes, sometimes people just don't have time to do it, but when to know when to take the protective hairstyle out. First of all, it depends on your growth level. How fast does your hair grow? If you have a protective style two weeks ago and now you have an inch of hair, it's time to get it done. Also, do you notice caking and flaking in there? Time to take it out, get that hair washed. If you leave the hair in while it's caking and flaking, when you do take it out, if you leave it in too long, when you do take it out, it's gonna kind of be like locks. Now you're gonna need to decide, do you wanna start growing your locks now or combing out the caking and the severe flaking that you have at the ends of that hair because now you left it in too long, it's gonna have a lot of shedding going on. So it's best to take them out in the proper amount of time. Now, if you speak to some beauticians, they might, some might tell you four weeks, others might tell you eight to 12 weeks, others might tell you something else. But the general time to take out your protective style is between six and eight weeks depending on your hair growth level and depending on what a mess it is, all right? So if your hair is a mess, it's time to get it done. If your hair has grown out severely, it's time to get it done. Okay, it's very simple. Look at it, if it looks good, it can last longer. If your hair is grown, you got two inches of, of natural hair coming out of your head and your protective style is on the end, it's time to get it done. Also, leaving the protective style on there too long when your hair has grown out, now starts to pull on the strands that it's hanging on to. This is gonna cause shedding. This is gonna cause breakage. And this is not what we want. We want a protective style to protect our hair so that we can grow it out. We want it nourished and at its optimal condition. Right, ladies and guys? So make sure you do your hair when it's time for it to get done. Now, when to wash and condition your hair. You have a protective style. Yes, it's gorgeous, you love it. But you do wanna wash your hair, 
right? And it's not quite messed up enough. It's not a mess. And your hair hasn't grown out that much, but you need to wash it. If your scalp is really itchy, or you know, if you, you notice some buildup, but your hair still looks pretty much good, then you can take some shampoo. Now, if your hair is itchy, I recommend our tea tree shampoo and conditioner. It's really good for preventing bacteria, viruses, um, and all of those wonderful things that tea tree and mint do. And it prevents that itchy, itchy scalp. So it, it gives you a lot of relief. Our tea tree shampoo and conditioner can be applied at the scalp level, wet your hair, apply the shampoo and conditioner at the scalp level. Don't put it all over your hair like you normally do when you're washing your natural hair. Just at the scalp level, rub it in, rub it in, rub it in, rinse it out. Do it again, put it in, rub it in gently, rub it in gently, rub it in gently, rinse it out. You can take the conditioner through your scalp and gently through all the way through your protective style. Let it sit there for, I don't know, at least two minutes, right? Then rinse it out and it'll give back that luster and shine that you may have lost if your hair was dirty. Your protective style as well. And now it smells fresh, it looks fresh, and you got a little bit more time before you need to get it done again. Make sure also to ensure that your protective style has longevity. Wrap it up with a silk or satin scarf at night. That's gonna prevent breakage, bedhead, and frizz. And it's gonna make your protective style last a lot longer. One thing to really, really remember um, when you go to get your hair done, I think I've talked about this, but this is so, 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 so important when getting your protective style. Please just ensure that whoever's doing it, if it's you or somebody else, that they're not pulling at your edges. The number one reason that our growth set is getting purchased is to grow the edges back, right? That's what it says on our website. Grow that those edges back and the crown. That's the number one reason because people are going out there and getting braids that look like this and look like this. I had a picture that I found where the young lady's braids were so tight that her that blood was coming down her neck. I didn't wanna show you that to you. It blew my mind, so I didn't wanna share that, okay? Cause once you see something, sometimes you can't unsee it. I can't unsee it. I'm not gonna throw that on you guys. Make sure to subscribe to our page and leave us a comment, please, letting us know what you'd like for us to research for you and bring to you on our Saturday uploads. That's what this is all about. It's about learning and getting our hair growth journey underway successfully. As usual, I like to leave you with a quote. Now, I didn't write this down simply because I live by this quote most of the time of my life. So, Basically what it is is you cannot feel inferior unless you give somebody that power. If somebody's trying to make you feel inferior, if you pass that on over to them and allow them to make you feel inferior, you did it, not them. No one can make you feel inferior except yourself by allowing them to have superiority over you. Okay, so whatever you think in your mind, if you think you are bad luck, if you think you are phenomenal and a winner, that's what you are, all right? So make sure you keep your thought positive and yourself positive and keep it moving as usual. Thank you so much for joining us on our Saturday Live and I'll see you, I was gonna say next Saturday, but I'll see those of you who join us live on Wednesday on Wednesday. Have a good one.